So on December 31st, um, I had an accident that I kind of said changed my life forever. Um, me and my boyfriend Taylor, we were um, in Park City, Utah, and we had decided to rent snowmobiles for the day and kind of make new memories. I remember we got to the to the trailhead at 9.30 uh, a.m. and then took off riding. And the way we were kind of riding was she was behind me and you know she was a little bit more reserved than, than I was on the snowmobile. and I. I would kind of hit the gas and get up in front of her and then I would slow down and wait on her to catch up to me. And when I came up on a kind of a straightaway, I could see three moose on the uh, side of this trail. When Kelsey got up beside me, I said, look, just get in front of me. And when we get up here beside them, just hit the gas and, and let's get past them as fast as we can. So anyway, she, she goes past these, past the moose and she hit the gas and was going pretty fast. It was just a straightaway, so I wasn't too concerned with what happened after that. Once she got past them, you know, kind of the, you know, my worry was, was over with them. So when I passed them, I pulled my phone out and took a picture of them. When I put my phone back in my pocket, I hit the gas and went around the next curve. And, uh, and that's when I saw her snowmobile was on its side and she was laying uh, on the, the trail. Uh, what ended up happening was when she went around that curve, there were two more moose in that trailhead that we couldn't see before then. So she just, she was already going so fast, there was no way to, to stop in time. And I think it was just a mixture of, you know, confusion and she ended up driving straight into a tree. And it was kind of just, chaotic from from that point on she she was laying on her back with her you know face up to the sky you know I was in the mountains nobody around it's just me and her um, and a moose about 40 yards away from us staring at us and you know I was screaming for help 30 seconds to a minute of panic I pull my phone out called 911 about the same time that 911 answered the phone Kelsey started uh, coughing and moaning um, so she had kind of regained consciousness a little bit. Shortly after that, I was trying to talk to 911 and tell them where we were and tell them what was happening. And, and I couldn't really communicate very clearly uh, on where we were. And a couple had pulled up behind us. This couple immediately grabbed the phone from Taylor so they could finish talking to 911, kind of telling the story. And the woman just stopped what she was doing, came over and prayed with me and Taylor. She prayed right beside us. And, and never really stopped. To me, it's just kind of hard to see that and imagine what they felt too, the fact that they stopped, they were a guidance to Taylor, you know, as he was dealing with this. And at the moment, Taylor's told me that, he, you know, he didn't think I was gonna make it through this ordeal. You know, you're, the thing that you love the most in the world is laying there. You think that she's dying um, and and there's, there's nothing that can help. There's only one, you know, one one thing that can comfort you and that was that was prayer even though i don't remember um i just have a feeling that i heard those prayers too and i just really think there was an angel there that day that just wanted me to just keep pushing through we had probably been there about 10 15 minutes and the moose had actually charged us started running at us the, it was kind of the only thing that we could do was i had to pick her up and carry her about 50 yards. So I ended up moving her and just, you know, praying that she didn't have a neck injury. And then about 45 minutes later, uh, life light landed. You know, once the life light uh, took me off, uh, Taylor then had to make his way to the hospital. And the first two days, the doctor came in and told Taylor that, Taylor and my mom, that they didn't know um, at what point uh, my brain was going to recover. Uh, one of the coolest things from this is every night that I was in the hospital, Taylor made a video. It is 12 o'clock, New Year's Day. Happy New Year. Mwah. Happy New Year, babe. I love you so much. And he told me he made those because if my brain did recover and I was able to remember everything that was going on, that he wanted me to have the videos of what was going on there. You know, and since then in the hospital, after the fifth, sixth day, I started coming to more. I was um, starting to walk more. And there's a video that Taylor and my mom had took where um, I was standing up and I was just crying. I was like overcome with this emotion. And at the time, my mind didn't even know that I was standing up, but it was like a big, just overwhelming of just, you know, that, okay, I'm going to be able to work through this. The hardest thing too is, was in the hospital was, you know, not knowing, you know, am I going to walk again? Am I going to run again? Am I going to be able to work again? And it's like I had this, 
comfort of knowing that I had somebody bigger watching over me and I couldn't explain that. You know, Kelsey has a, you know, a, a bigger, more of a story to tell. That wasn't her story. You know, it didn't end there for a reason. You know, there's, she has a lot more, a lot more to do and a lot more to accomplish. And I think there was, uh, I 100% think there was a higher power that, that saw that and, and that agrees with, with that. I know everyone says once you have an accident, you know, you have a new perspective on life, but I really feel like this, you know, happened for a reason because I felt like I'd got so mundane and just walking and, you know, just not just not living with a purpose, I guess. And I feel like this has really made me stronger in the fact that um, because I know that I was kept here, that I want to do good for the world and in be who God wants me to be and be the person that, you know, he has planned for me because I feel like, you know, he still has big plans for me and I want to honor him and all of those plans that I do.